So before we start programming, let us first find out what we need. We'll be using a PIC16F84A, an ICD2 programmer, or a clone if it's not available in your country. In my case, I'm using an ICD2 clone which you can find at eGizmo.com, or follow the direct site shown. It comes with an adapter which serves as the power supply, a 5-pin wafer connector, and a serial cable. You connect it the way this looks like. We also need a software to program. Try googling MPLAB ID download. The lower part of the page will find the site to download. And it's not my job to teach you how to install. Just click next, 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 then finish. Well then proceeding. We connect the PIC as shown in the diagram. The ICSP or the In Circuit Serial Programmer is found on the programming pins of the ICDT. Here's the way it looks like. We connect it to the corresponding pins as shown in the diagram. If the image is too blurry, you can refer to the direct site where I stole it. Or refer to my newly drawn circuit. You can take out the capacitors and diodes if you're lazy to do so. In this case, we'll use the 5 volt supply from the programmer and not from any other external source. So this is the way it looks like on the breadboard. And it took me an effort to do this. On the software part, double click the newly downloaded MPLAB IDE. Make sure that the programmer is connected on the desktop serial port. Also of course, turn on the programmer. The power supply must be on 9 or 12 volts for stable regulation. 12 works better. Now going back to MPLAB IDE, click Programmer, select Programmer, MPLAB ICDT. Then go back to the programmer again, then connect. If this kind of error comes out, it tells that the programmer is recognizing the communications port 1. So simply go to the computer, right click, then manage. Device manager, ports, communications port, properties. Go to the port settings advanced uncheck the FIFO buffers then change the COM port number to COM1 then click OK now back to MP lab let's click programmer then connect again if a warning window comes out just click OK for now what's important is the past message over there it tells that the computer was able to recognize your programmer and it's good news Let's try opening a project now. Go to the project, then Project Wizard. Click Next. Select the pick used. Right now, it's pick 16 f 84 a Use the high-tech C compiler, since we're using the C language. Browse Word to save the project. Create a folder, mine's named pick testing. Inside it, name your project. Mine's first pick. Click Next. Next. Then finish. Click new file. Then plug this in. Include pick.h void main. Press Ctrl S or to save. And save it as main.c. Right click the source files. Then add files. Open your main.c. Go to project. Then build. And then a successful message pops out. Also change the configuration bits. Go to configuration, configuration bits. Uncheck the lock. Then change the oscillator to XT. Watchdog timer to off. And that's it for a pic 16 f 84 a Now let's try placing an LED on the RBO pin. Coming back at the code, type trees B0, configure pin RB0. Assigning it to 0 makes RB0 an output pin. When you say output, voltage comes out of the corresponding pin. And when we register the pin as input or trees B0 is equal to 1, it is ready to accept current. We'll talk about that later. Let's initially turn off the RB0 pin. And inside the infinite loop, RB0 is 1, logic 1, or simply in on state. We build, connect, program then release from reset and now we have a turn on LED next time we'll tackle on how to make LEDs blink and stops this is all for now and thank you for watching